Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Prussia, the second episode of this series. Now, the Sambian clan, or tribe, of the Prussians, oh, the Sambians, led by House Samba, is the most dominant of all the uh, Prussian tribes, at least for now. I mean, there are still others. Only the Scalvians and the uh, Bartians now pay tribute to us. But only the Pogasinians, the Pomsanians, Jomno, and Galindians remain independent. But one day we will expand upon them. And by the gods, we will get them. But of course, to do that, obviously we need more prestige. Now, <laughs> I have been victorious in a war ambition after our first victory over the Nodruvians, in which we now administer this area, which those two will go away in a year's time, thus beginning more local tax modifier gain and levy reinforcement rate. Especially that this is the home of the gold mine. Which we don't know when it'll go away, but we'll try to get as much money out of it as we can every once a year or so. And I will make Rune Kim a commander, but I've already made him the master of the blade, champion, and cup bearer of the Sambians. But once these raiders are created, I will replace his martial position and put him up as the commander. He'll take up the right flank. I mean, he's more than ready for it. <laughs> Can't do all honor with him now because he's still in prison. Hopefully they'll release him one day. But we may never know. Which again, to be exact, what is what? Master of Blade is prestigious, honorific, um, usually granted for those of demonstrated ability of swordsmanship. That's my son. And he's also the champion, which at this title is bestowed upon, could have considered to be the champion of the realm. There's surely no one greater honor for mortal men to aspire to. And he's also the cup bearer. Poison is always a danger, so being entrusted with serving drinks is a great honor. The reason for all that? Not only he gets the... Um, you know, makes a modest amount for monthly balance. But also it's to help him with increase his um, prestige that he would start with. He is my only child. As uh, my daughter, unfortunately, was killed by a wild beast. As part of the training. And I was hoping that she would be the future shield maiden for the Prussians. But it's not to be. But we still got plenty of work to do. Especially that I have this idea in mind. To make my son even more mightier, this man here, he has the Axe of Procunus. This stone axe strongly resembles the Axe of Procunus himself, as described in myth. While a prestigious artifact um, in itself, holding it is seems to also instill military confidence and bravado in its wielder. Make more monthly prestige gain, but a plus three martial and plus sixteen personal comments God, that's the most important thing. That's something that my son should have, not I. There's two ways of getting it. You either invite him to the court, or we kidnap him and subsequently seize the artifact away from him. Knowing that I am not in the mood to be spending any kind of funds here. But let's try abduction first. So we tend to abduct um, by the order's works. This will allow them to demand a claim or did your non-capital county that he holds or vassal he feels rightly his. These options are available with High Chief Kunkita 
and Majoras of Elavasa same room, or perhaps simply to let him rot in the dungeon. That's what this plot to kidnap is for. There are some that would be willing to pay. But the best option that we have is them is our marshal. But every time we send them gifts like these, as I said, not in the mood for it. But if we can have at least one backer, there's a chance. Since he currently resides in in Pomisania, which is over there. I'm gonna send my spy master to build a spy network for, for the plot to increase. But we can't know for certain. I was a bit distracted when I handed my buzzer to the court here. I was watching another one of my birds who were about to catch another rabbit and did not realize that the eager courtier had no clue what to do with the buzzer. It did not end well. The bird was lost. This is the last time I trust some of my birds. Ari Sla was supposed to give my buzzer to the falconer who slipped and lost the grip of the bird and escaped. I will never see her again. There's a, a bit of an um, increase. So it would take about, oh, ideally four backers. I don't see why that has a negative 10 on the plot power. Compared to all this. And you say it's immoral? Well, let's try to do the sway option. Wait a minute. He just joined the band. Because the last time I saw him, he wasn't wielding a spear. Let me tell you something. So let's ask, hopefully... I can agree to something, so that way we gotta get you into that plot without having me to pay it. Or having me to bribe for it. Lucans was happy to oblige me. Now I have some time to, s some time to spend with him. I'm confident I can convince him how alike that we are and he stands only to gain from our friendship. Could finally talk in private. Spend a few days with him to get his good intentions. Hopefully, we have something in common. If not, then. Uh, well. And he doesn't want to do it unless bribed to because it's immoral, but I have to get a higher opinion on him. I think these days have really helped me in getting uh, Lucan's you know, and appreciating me better. We have passed most of our time in my longhouse discussing the most uh, disparate topics. It was good meeting a new friend, Gregarious, because we're, we have something in common. I mean, it's possible. Not a higher opinion, and then you don't have to persuade him with room. Oh. Stewardship's already low enough, but this will not do. Marshall's already high enough than it is. Just get me some raiders. Yeah, sorry, Mayor, for raising your troops for a long time because of these wars as of recently. Okay, I gained a little bit of money. That wasn't gold, I believe. This is due to living here in this um, 
Amber Road, even though we do not have a trade post. Or any other ones to speak of. Are you out of prison yet? Because I'm sure one of these days the Livonian will let you out. I received today an intriguing proposal from Prince Sarpad of the Hamedja suggesting non aggression pact between the realms. What on earth? Refuse. Can't afford it, nor be willing. At least we make one gold a month. Due to the recent gains we've made and, um, and the tributaries. To bad none of them. Are interesting but you can always have the loan option but you know have a lowered monthly prestige piety and temple vassal if you know, wouldn't look good so I'm hesitant on taking loans <laughs> That's how that works. If I get a hundred more, then I'll start. Then I will start, you know, putting it all out there. from this one, from those tributary wars. It's unfortunate that Lithuania has you know, damaged itself. My marshal, Rune Kim, has scattered up a great host of raiders, lusting for plunder and wanton destruction. I must use these men and, and not allow them to sit idle for too long. Great news indeed. <laughs> Finally, you're out of this. Putting Glupas as a marshal, in which is to train the troops because you need a levy reinforcement to go faster. It will be more so once the weaponsmith is finished. We can finally do what we never really done and passed and that's to raid our neighbors. from the Ring of Honor. I just noticed your current situation and I couldn't stop myself from getting involved. Unfortunately, I couldn't come to your aid in time. Thus, I'm sending workers to assist you on the reconstruction. Oh. Norse workers. Send to here. How nice of you. At least that jumps up on the progress so it'll be done this coming August. Yeah, we're all ready. 
elevators now. Run, Kim. Where's the run, Kim? You're out of here. Well done. So. Okay, we can raid anyone. Particularly the Polish, since they were, you know, beaten by the um, Prussians, uh, which they all banded together against them. They may not have much, but it'll make a lot of difference. What happened to you? Oh, you had a duel. Guess it was due to um, Warrior Lodge activities. He had a duel for honor and then he won that, but he was wounded. He'll get better. So for now, we raid for money. We will raid for loot, get enough money, and to finance this plot to kidnap idea. And get that axe. Hey, okay, someone else. This keeps getting better for these um, possibilities. Again, I don't want to take a loan because I would be bad in a long run, in my opinion. But hey, raiding means money, that's subsequently prestige, and we'll do that conquest war. And don't forget to raid them too. I don't think that man's going to be out of prison anytime soon. Since he's in a dungeon, he may die out potentially, so get rid of this. These Mausoleans cannot defend themselves very well. You know, since we have this retinue... Give me the cheapest and the retinue cap usage. You'll remain. It's only a hundred. <laughs> one of my maids reported that one of my courtiers left an appropriate love letter on her bed. She appeals to me to do something about it. Hmm. Not false, maid lover. Well, I gave him designated regent and last of all. Do I really need to be angry with him? I'll give him a stern talking to. This character just has a known weakness to attractive young maids. Is that so? It's no time to be thinking about women during this time of raid. See, hence the reason the need for a retinue. Yeah, we won't be able to um, loot, but we can get some by sacking the areas. That's the only way to get the money. And we'll raid them too in the future just to soften them up before the conquest. We're just stalling for time to get prestige up to 200. And waiting for this um, next shipment of money. 
from the gold that we will have. So that way we can use it to bribe these people to kidnap him. I'm in no mood to, um, to invite him to court. Again, he's got the axe. And he lives over there. I'm sure one day we'll see him in battle. If they ever appoint him as commander during this circumstance. Go for construction. No need for improved infrastructure as of yet. It's just anything to do to make buildings cheaper and construction a bit faster. Yeah, that's almost nothing because we're not in the neighboring area, but this will do. It'll be done this August. First day of August. Maybe we are better off raiding our neighbor. Because they're not going to put up much resistance. As stated. Now I'm a distinguished commander. Because every battle that uh, commanders partake increases their worth. He is yet to earn his, but he made it known. So it's time to raid, soften them up. Is finally finished. Well, hold off on the prestige unless you're gonna spend on them. No. Save everything. Prestige for conquest. Money for kidnapping. Yeah, sure. Surprise me. Gonna build me a statue as my steward. Plus, I get most of the loot from here anyhow. Now the city's gotta be more of its worth. I've noticed that since during the band of Medina, my son has spent barely any time at court, learning to act as his rank demands. Uh, being in contact with all the courts first makes him adopt mannerisms unfitting of his stature. As long as he learns how to fight, not as diplomatic as some people would think. Due to negative events outside of my control, the province of Ormius, his, his ability called decline. Well, I can't watch over anything. No, some other time. Just for having that retinue, we won't have as much piety gain. If you have an earth hill port, that I'll definitely increase the retinue size. Still a tributary of me. The world's a dangerous place and devious plots are rare. Rumors of reaching me that people are aspiring to kill me. Must be careful. I assume it's my rival that I once insulted and made her my rival back in the fly team. There we go. 
And we captured the mayor as well. Oh, you better. That should be enough. Now, let's move forward with this kidnap plot. Fortunately, they're all commanders, so... Should be enough by then. Oh, I already did. Okay. Yeah, it should be enough. Just save a little and wait for the gold to come in. Right on. Conquest again. We soften them up and now we attack. We don't need the tributaries, we can handle it from here. They originally had an ambition where I just want to live in peace, but. No, <laughs> you just can't get enough. Increase size to main up to four. And these guys are next. We're sieging, not raiding, are we? Not siege, there's a difference. I'm saying that because despite the fact that it says Raiders on there and organizing and all that, still. Here we go. The internal circumstances of war may have took a turn for the worse. Thanks to a myriad of factors, conditions are now set to increase the likelihood of reduced stability and violence. I'll address that from now on. I've increased probability of experiencing bad stability events. Use crowd focus. Uh, to solve the situation faster or we'll wait until the conditions ends by itself. Now it's a volatile province. I know what to do with this nearly money. We'll finally build that trade post here. And an earth fill port. Yes, that should be good enough of a plot power. If anyone else wants in, well, you're gonna have to wait. I'm switching my crown focus to there now. Gotta put a stop to this. Now I'm at a point where I can't really watch over all the domain that I control. Unless I leave it up to someone else's responsibility. No, not this man. He's still in prison. You still got money? Well, we're gonna... Put him in irons. Ransom him again. Just 
second. Alright. Gained a hundred prestige. Though it would be enough to create um, the Duchy of Russia, but not until the rest are united. In a way. Bed ridden because of the flu. Aha. Uh -huh. I know what's next. Galindia. Galindia will be the next place to get them to pay tribute to us. They won't put up much of a fight. We're not gonna raid them. Because, you know. They might be of some use to us. And after we win that tributary, then Palmasenia will be the next place to, um, to be conquered. Nijomino, which is another Prussian area. You know, that man there is rather formidable. Combat skill-wise. But soon we will abduct Bajora's poison tooth, as they call him. But be careful, he's wary. He has not discovered a plot yet. But we will get him soon. Pay tribute or else. That is a question. And that gets me a little bit more prestige out of this. be rich here if there's even time for it will you surrender or will you not because the other two nations are uh, well actually this one uh, surrendered about a fight but apparently you're not let them work at their own pace after we defeat them in battle then conquer Galindia which will be a tributary to us then Yes, uh, Thomas Sania will be next. Off we go. Monuments, months, promises finished. The statue unveiled, and it's just a bigger version of months. It's slightly better looking than the real months. Tear it down. He'll be put in his place. What the hell's the matter with you? That's disrespect. Should have been a statue of me, not you. We're not only besieging the area, but we're also raiding it. Because, you know, gotta get the money. post is finished. Alright, before I read that, let me see. These are all these structures that you could build, but that's only if you have trade practices up to one or more. And it costs a lot, but this is just to increase the trade value, well, garrisons, all that. All relates to the, uh, that mod that's where we added this trade, so. It's grand. 
No, really proposal. A man claiming to be one of the leaders of the rebels of Omir comes one night to see me. I receive him and proceeds to tell he's willing to betray the rebels for first a golden invitation uh, to be part of my court. My spies tell me the man is a wall of mirrors, unable to be uh, scratched. Capture him on a spot. This is for the prestige. Didn't become arbitrary. Okay, we actually um, raided and looted this area. And now we're going to actually capture it. Thanks to our mix of raiders and uh, official army units to the siege area. And now we get the income with the said trade post. How much income is that to be exact? Four point one income from this trade post. Trade zone income one point seventy one from all trade zone value. Yeah, all that. Perhaps it needs a little more. God damn it. No. This is just to make damn sure. I want that axe. That is all I'm willing to give. My pious diviner told me that there's a very talented individual of lowborn origins that could be a very fitting addition to my court. After letting the information sink in, he proceeded to suggest a that I approach this character and know what he wants. Of course, asking a civil court to come to my court is not the most prestigious of actions. Well, it's worth a try. I mean, I will soon get a lot more prestige after we win this thing, so. Oh, wow. Zang's mind divider asks me how we should approach. How should we proceed in approaching this person? Give him 25 gold from my treasury. Which of course is the... Everything else being equal is just a bit higher than others. Religious education, a learning stat of his, which he ain't got much. Temperate gun administrator opinion. What? Let me use my powers of persuasion since I'm a man of diplomacy. So I have diplomacy education now. Diplomacy stats, yes. In course, good areas. Unfortunately, me being rougher would be negative a bit. A talented individual, significant influence stops by being gregarious and being shy, which he ain't either, though, so don't spend the money, but I'll use our persuasion to sway him. We'll be taking this air while we subsequently look here. The approach was a success. Virgadis is now integrated in my court. I may call him to perform any relevant duties I deem appropriate. Another one joins the fold. Um, you are the new marshal now. Clavis will take up arms. Because he could be another one of the good ones. <laughs> Augustania is now a volatile province as well. So yes, we've got some unruly areas. Working in shadows, not met up with the aid of some raids of the ill repute, I managed to acquire some items, items which my rivals and foes would sorely miss. Got some technology. It was for the economy, I think. Oh. 
Gotta go for legalism. Gee, I don't know. It's kind of tempting. As we do not have shipbuilder and having galleys for potential overseas raids against weaker coasts of the Norse. If we are in a habit of raiding anyone else out there. But beware, because you know, shipwrecks and you may lose a lot of good ones. Especially during winter time where it's the stormiest. And hurry up and capture the bastard. Now he's been made steward and commander. If we do not capture him, I mean, if we do not kidnap him, hopefully we'll capture him in battle. Don't wait till it's too late. And since I can't seem to watch over it, then, after much political bickering below my station, the Celts presented three choices from which to pick the next domain overseer to take care of the stability of the provinces. I know I should look not only at the stats of each candidate, um, but also their education traits and their relationship with Which one would I pick? This good friend of mine? Oh. This Chancellor, or one of the best men of the court, Zangs, the genius. And Diviner, yes. Unfortunately, that runs out of money for me, but again, somebody's got to watch over them. And I am confident that now there's a bit of, well, we already looted the place. That the gold mine and the uh, butcher fishery will provide us a bit of money to get us out of here. Alendia tribe has fallen before me, me and my troops have collected everyone found within, and I must decide to face the unfortunate. Take everyone we found prisoner, because we need money, and fast. Pay up. Again. Hey, it's too late. This is my war. Stand down, will you? Because I would hate it to make tributaries fight other tributaries. But they wanted to subjugate them. And it's rather concerning because he's that warlord. What's even more concerning is the Pomeranians. You can tell by that symbol. They're here for Pomesania. That means you're going to have to pay tribute to us, too. Because we don't want to uh, go on a conquest against you. They do have an ally. So, in fact, we have to call everybody in. Just for further reinforcements. Coming. No. Guess not you, because you're busy with your other thing. Lutus let everyone know about my plot to kidnap for your during drunkard steward at a local tavern. Should never include that drunkard blabbermouth in the slot. This delegate, my reputation is ruined. Damn it! Now he knows too much. Any other takers? Help? We must go.
Hey, where's my son? He's here. This war and this opportunity to prove my mettle in combat has opened my eyes to true potentials of war. My personal combat skills are improving. My devils guide my heart, hand, and steel. We reinforce very soon. Yeah, he successfully took it over. Can no longer claim tribute from them. They'll stay, they'll pay tribute to us, but now this is becoming a concern. Especially with the presence of the Pomeranians here. Which will fight them next. Once we get everybody together. Come over here. See, they called their ally in and we need to bring uh, combined forces together. Because I will finally become a warrior. Even so now I'm going to be at my son's rank. I believe he'll be more ahead of me soon. Also, we're doing the old procedure of raid and raid these two holdings and then but there is a chance that our capital will get sacked unless we act fast get over here We'll raid this place. In one of the larger villages of Warmia, a respected elder has recently passed away. He was beloved by all for his virtue and wisdom. Few had anything bad to say about him. His funeral attracted many who wished to pay their respects to him. Some even claimed that his spirit will provide a land of many blessings before he passes in the afterlife. May his soul rest in peace. Alright. Our hill fort's been built. This will slow him down a little, hopefully. We encourage all to stick with us. Now go. Landslide's been reported in Bogusania. Is burying several villages and killing many. How much? 30. Okay. A leader who cares. Let's try to help the victims as much as we can. Follow us, please. They're about to take over our capital. They did. That's gonna hurt. We'll be reinforced soon. We're outnumbered here, but we'll be reinforced soon. My son's flank's been beaten. We're defeating him. Sacrificing their possessed man. Last thing anybody wants to see. Just retake this. Hell no. But there will be a monument um, dedicated to my house and my ancestors just this once. 
take the capital back, but take that damn country before the Pomeranians do. Hurry. Damn it, damn it, damn it, I got it. Supposed to make us pay tribute, but now that task is gonna be much more difficult. Stop that. You know the stage belongs to the Pomeranian. And this would become rather concerning. Because they are a powerful entity. And we're just basically giving it to them. Get out of there. Oh, shoot. We're fighting them. And we have, we're giving it to them. They took it. And yet, after all this, I'm now a renowned commander. This character is a military command veteran renowned for his many victories. And you've uh, become a battlefield terrain master. A narrow flank. This one holds more troops. You should be down. And I'll also be down. Got many um, events spawn troops, but they must pay. The Wendish, the Pomeranians must pay. So there will be a county conquest war against them. And we're fighting them here. As stated. Get over here. So yes, we killed them out of anger. But many more will come. Yeah, there's a little bit too many people in court now. Where the hell did they get all that? Round table. Bent spawn troops, I get it. We ought to defeat them before they have a chance to mobilize even more and things would get... Really, really nasty. But we must go together. Can't let these bastards overwhelm us. Pick them off one by one. That's not Slavic, they're to be sacrificed. <laughs> 
one got left behind. Get an Earth Hill Fort built. Market village here. It's important to the economy. Since we have so much prestige now, we may consider building all of these. Each swing of my axe sent me deeper in enemy territory. Before I knew it, I am surrounded. With a burst of energy, I roared loudly, causing a few of them to hesitate, and one unfortunate soldier to stagger backwards, tripping over a rock, but I can't help but notice that he drops his weapon in the dirt. I'll take that blade and send you back to Perun with it. Now I got my own weapon. Heavy dirt blade. A weapon lost by Windish soldiers. High Chief Kunkit uh, kept this weapon on display after bringing it back from the Battle of Ormia. Spores of war for some reason? Sentimental nonsense, I'd say. Helps me lead the center better. And adds up more to the personal combat skill. But I would still prefer to get that axe. But it seems the idea of kidnapping him is no longer a priority. And he's become a spy master. Well, let's try all this again, shall we? Now that he's gone off to a new residence. He's in Bartia now. the chief himself. Don't sacrifice him. He'll stay and he's got plenty of money. Just wait until after the war. As I said, just pick him off one by one before we actually um, take, a, take the objective. Now my son is a respected commander. There you go. You're getting there. How about you? Still haven't earned it yet, but my son's now respected. Now they're on the run. Just catch them. Ring for a big one. And now that I have my own weapon, we're getting overwhelmed here. Where's reinforcements? They're still holding on stubbornly. Weighing scales. Just clutter, which you can hold three of these. Domain modif tax modifier up and intrigued stewardship of it. Give me that. No, you can't sacrifice them after you just let them out of there. This one's just the chief. Don't sacrifice him. And it's just us, but we need to take this objective. We can't win the war unless we uh, take this area. 
Which of course that means we're gonna loot and then, you know, all that. So head to there. My diviner Zangs tells me there's efforts in an increasing religious fervor um, among the people of Meta Great Success. A small army of zealots converged at Zambia, ready to serve me. Now I need to simply attack some suitable infidel before my new recruits wander off in disgust. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're using that as additional reinforcements. Baltic zealots. That's what they consist of now. Now we can recover our morale. The monument is finally finished, turns out just as I envisioned it, or perhaps even better. To celebrate its completion, a grand ceremony was held in House Semba's honor. Um, what, what a ceremony indeed. Tales of it will be told for as long as the monument stands to watch over Sambia. Damn it, we're gonna get that man. One of these days. And finally, you're gonna get married. Yeah, stop swaying you for the time being. And we are in anxious need of allies in the future, so start swaying you again. Chance we're still over there the whole time. Our stage is high enough, so a little bit of money helps. So we're looting all this first, and then actually capture it. Because we're that mad. We looted our own province once. We just don't know how to take care of our own because we're reckless. I'll just simply ask him. Wonderful. A lot of money in that city. But before we actually capture them, let's fight against them. Raiders, zealots, warriors, professional army soldiers, and many others. I've learned many lessons from this battle. Besides from the application of theoretical tactics my mentors taught me as a boy, I've learned to definitely isolate an opponent in the thick of the front, to bring all my focus and concentration to bear upon them. And then within about a few rounds of melee, swiftly execute them. I'm proud to clear of my progress to a great war. Still, I have more lessons to learn. Ah, there you are again. Took your scales, now I'm gonna take your life. Extra counselors. He was their spy master and commander. But I'm not here for talent. I shall be sacrificed except for the chieftains. What you got there? Hammer. Another clutter. If the only tool you have is a hammer, every problem will look like a nail. You know what? Give me that too. Every little bit helps. Now we can take the place. After we've raided them. more holding, then we'll have complete control of this target uh, chieftain. Where do they get more of these bastards? They just won't quit, will they? 
these events spawn more of them. Okay, after we capture them, we'll fight them one more time. Cause they'll go down faster. Don't prolong it. 100%. One more for glory. Get that Slavic Priestess. I will remember this battle in its finest detail till the end of my days. Parkunas guided my sword to the hearts of countless number of my foes, raising cheers and battle cries from my surrounding men as I cut the path through the enemy. My mastery of personal comments come a long way. Apparently I'm not the only one who thinks so. I'm finally a warrior. Novice fighter. Plus 10 personal combat skill. I went from 1 to 72. I'm a better fighter than you now. But don't be ashamed, boy. There's plenty of work to do. One got caught out. Sacrificed, so was he. They all must pay. Let's begin a payment. It was a heck of a war. We fate those bastards back. And stay out. Ah, just this fan. No more. Get back to Sambia at your post. We're considerably weak now, but in time. In time. We'll have increased retinue size. Formidable fighter. Well, for your distinguished service, um, Palmestania, um, you'll be just guard our border with them. The land is yours. And the gym, so here's a new house. I just wanted him out of my court and how to appoint him somewhere. Oh, and uh, this temple. Too. Get a priest or priestess there. A shaman or a priestess over there. And this was also conquered by the Pomeranians, which we'll fight them again someday. Now that I have this money, let's try to attempt to form the lines with them again. But let's try this again. They're particularly successful to show to show them of might, so try that once more. We've earned quite a bit of income here. Oh, you actually live here. Since you're now that you're married, that means I have to educate you. Go for it. Time to rejoice. Now you become patient. And since I got my treasury, you'll be guarding my stuff too, Runkim. And uniform's different, so that means you are now a veteran. 
in addition to being a respected commander under the service under me. Hurry up and kidnap the bastard! Get that axe! I get the man, and then I get the axe. That's how it's gonna go. Diplomatic negotiations went very well and soon became a good deal. Uh, good to be made. I love the meeting of good spirits. Look forward to future collaboration with High Chief Vanias of Samagatia. May not have the best strength, but it'll do. Five years, or you can negotiate up to eight years, thanks to the high diplomacy stat. So now we are protected while we will recover. You know, most of it, the main troops is just... Ugh. Oh yeah, train troops. We won't go to war again. Until everything is settled. And if we get our next big pile of gold from the mine, I know what I'm going to spend it on exactly to commemorate our victories. When I die one day, as all those inevitably, will people still remember me? No, that's not a bad thing. Life will go on. Always been on. Now it's no longer volatile here. The gold mine, unfortunately, could not sustain itself. It was profitable while it lasted. The glory faction of the Samvids is now friendly. Because Chief Napal's of Palmasenia, while the Gory faction strives for prestige and spoils the war, so it is friendly. Have a good relationship with members, granting a land to talk to any member, any member appointed to the Legion's Council. Leech having high prestige, winning wars, holding tournaments, and all that. And you say you want to get married? I don't know if there's any woman around here that would be suited for you. Why not her? I just wanted people out of my court. built, so we should have more retinue soon. Guess maybe this. Because a little more heavy infantry wouldn't hurt. Hunting party. Retinue. That's the retinue, right? We're just making up, making room for a hunting party, even though that's gonna decrease our prestige gain. But it's got cavalry. 
I have a hundred infantry, but it's got light cavalry, which would definitely help us in future conquests. Just starting the military over from scratch. Now they're taking advantage of them. Oh, the Pomeranians have too many wars now. Peasant revolt, Celestian subjugation, that can be good. Um, conquest, 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 all over the place. So, when this area falls, then that's the next one we're gonna fight, the Mazavia. Take advantage of the chaos. And he's aware of what we're up to. Devious schemer calls me. So we'll try to attempt to, um, as I said before, I want that axe. But there are alternatives. Chief Napaz expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. His contribution to the realm is significant and his military strength is not to be ignored. So including him in the council may eliminate a potential future threat. I would not bother you with such petty assignments. So, he'll be kept in this position. Alternatively, just invite the man. Good news. Bari saw has completed work on the new Baltic temple. Assuming her place as its priestess. All Sambians rejoices in the week of celebration has been called for. Got our old temple. Alright. And Varisa is the priestess. And very good at it. Better than Zhang's. You're the new diviner. Just help us raise zealots. Knowing what we're going to be doing next. And plus, temple tax. You know, part of the Amber Road. And we'd definitely love to finance the construction of the barracks for you. For more pikemen. For us. Pikemen and heavy infantry to contribute to, to us. So as we're slowly rebuilding our um, strength. Very, very slowly. Let me see. Alternatively, we could just invite the man. What's the harm? When does this opinion expire? Five years. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's just do something a bit silly here. You could send him a gift to increase his opinion further. Finally, a duel with honor for someone. He's a former peasant ruler, you know? Sector to accept my charge of combat that will take place in the next few days. He's taking it back when I injured him. Go and get that wind, someone proclaims, and my opponent groans. I'm ignoring the pain in my eye, and I have suspicion it's not going to last any of me. Now I got a black eye. And wounded. Alrighty. It's going to go away next month. After the duel, Chief uh, Bangalos of Lithuania asked me for advice on fighting. A little taken aback, I was happily offered him to train with him. On occasion, today, he thanks me for being a good teacher. 
And friendly guys don't get me on the back before he cocks his head in the direction of spawning grounds. Again? Why not, brother? Also be a win, then that'll be to our event. But that could change really quick. Trying to worship the ancestors, it's been a while. How about prosperity and growth for the realm? Another sacrifice for the ancestors. At the max. We're not going forward with the kidnap plot, it seems. So I need to invite him. Which means I would have to send him a gift in order to invite the court just to spend even more money on it. But that could change. We got warriors here. Advantage us. But first, I can finally talk in private. I think these days um, really help me getting the jurors to know and appreciate me better. We spend most of our time visiting my domain, discussing the most different topics. It was an honor to truly do have you for a while. Okay, now let's talk, alright? I would approach by our works in order to, to politely invite him to come to my court to, to serve me using his best skills to further our common cause. I know that I'll pay the child expense at the very least, but what is that powdery sum given a service I can sure? I need to decide what to offer more what to offer. It's 15 gold for travel expenses. We'll spend more. I'll give him 50 gold. But mind you, my diplomacy stat is not. He's not greedy. He's just. I'm trusting. But he's not. He's not diligent, not ambitious. Hmm. Opinion of Liege. I'm not sure he's going to take it. I'm not sure he's going to take that bait. But be ready for the next war. His forces are exhausted, which means we can take it. Just wait. Let's see what happens. It was with great honor that I received your invitation. I'm pleased to inform you that I stand ready to move into your court. Looking forward to serve you up to my best of my abilities. Excellent. Um, what does this mean for the plot power? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just switching around. Now that everybody's here. In that case. <laughs> 92 Hang on. Of course, my wife. We don't usually see each other eye to eye, but here's something we can get together on. We better start that war right now before they go away. I take advantage of their weakness. Very far off. Don't worry about them.
take this Prussian land back. But this time we have an ally to help us out. And if we win, I get to choose them and the city prestige party. But however, um, the uh, glory faction uh, mood will be improved, which is already at uh, its highest. So as I said, you maybe want, you, even though you want to be on the council, but just start a family, will you? You're of the old guard. And if I get impatient about kidnapping the man, yes, you're coming too. Well, except two. Everybody over here. It's good to have friends and tribal vassals like these. off. Don't let him take anything. The enemies are falling uh, by my greatsword, one by one, while hails of arrows nearly miss me. Charging in the thick of it all, I cornered one surprisingly young soldier, trying out behind a rock. With mixed emotions, I realized the boy's shaking. Who are you? Um, he splutters eyes frantic. I'm a diplomat of sorts, so they will call me the diplomat, because that's ultimately my legacy. As great as a war as I am, I'd rather be called a diplomat, because that's where my education comes from. My son aspires to be a better warrior than I am. Remember, we have to raid these first before we um, actually take it over. Because it's where we get our money and fortunes from. We can't get gold anymore from that gold mine. That's no longer there. restless again. This area is occupied. We didn't need to raid it. Very well. Let's fight the bastards again. Mazovian warriors. Just recently spawned. We will take them out. With these. One moment I am shouting orders, surrounded by the clanging of swords and fighting around me. The next, everything goes dark as the world slips away from me. Are those people whose concerned faces? Everything hurts. I just want to rest. The fight will have to go on. Without me. I have received a clushing blow to the head, showing no sign of waking. I have become incapable. Oh my goodness. Son, continue to fight for me. He's become a distinguished commander. That's why I noticed his march went up to 30. Wounded. Incapable. So thus the penalties come in. Now we'll never get to hold a great tribal festival as I originally have planned after this victory. But the Axeman. You. Can't even imprison him. Everybody's against that idea.
continue to charge. Win one more battle without me. Clopas. Take it up. Right. I mean, after you win this fight, Tom, um, Clopas will be given... Oh, no. And my son will soon rule the whole of the Sambian tribe. Finish the fight, son. My domain overseer stands in front of me with a proposal for a diplomatic mission to perform one of my restless provinces. Here my whole plan of interest, where it is made clear there will be a major meeting between my overseer and influential members um, of the province society. The idea is to sway them to the government's side, using whatever guarantees we can offer. Go ahead and provide full political support. The domain overseer is taken is asking me to risk heavily your prestige. Listen, I've been knocked on the side of the head. I can't do a thing. Do whatever. But the war is won. This chiefdom and that city is yours. You have a calm voice for your reinsurance. But remember, the rest of the sign goes to my son. I keep forgetting. I did say lower titles too, but it needs to be improved by regent. Crap! That was his last word. And this is this is sire, um, high chief. Uh, we can't give that city away. It needs to be improved by regent. And realizing this, he said, "Crap!" And then there he goes. High Chief conquered death faces the gods at age 50. He died comatose in bed. Never succeeded in making a name for himself. Kunkitas' most notable deed was precipitating the construction of the great works which he will never see finished. Whatever great work he was talking about, we may never know. And now, High Chief Runkim, being a talented military tactician, we expect him to lead us to many victories on the field of battle. Long live High Chief Runkim. So the army marches home. Oh, and he's my friend as well. Good to know. It's his only friend. Now, Chief Quilpas. Oh, now, pause. Um, what's that you got there? He's got the mark of the Morning Star. And the mark of the Goddess of, of Fertility. I was reading the Light of Venus. And, and got his war focus. Good. Glad to see that you served under my father. And now, serve under me. He's trusting. It's good to see that. So now he's inherited the, the weighing scales, that hammer, and that heavy dirt blade. Oh, the father, but we want to get that axe. And he starts off with a prestige of 1,000 thanks to past battles. And and after that last battle, Rune Kim has become a renowned commander. Whereas, um, Kun Kim did the dip diplomat. Um, he's a renowned commander too. But I'm sure many more victories will be coming from him. And he'll be a legendary commander. An ambitious, brave, brawny, legendary commander. As he's a trickster and a battlefield terrain master.
glad to see you're still here. I'm sure we'll do something about you very soon. Get up to 2,000 renown. Now that he's a veteran. But he'll be up there in no time. He's been grievously scarred. In addition, I mean, he was scarred, but this is second tier. He was scarred. So, yes, he's been in many battles. And recent successes took place. It's gonna hurt it. We have no tributaries anymore. But there are some warlords that are looking to, you know, to take us all over. We don't have much potential vassal ally troops. But we'll see what we can do after the sudden passing of the father. Who, um, he didn't die in battle, but still. 50, comatose and bad after he was knocked in the head in the battle. No children as of yet. But we'll put together our great council, we hope. And I'll see too if I become a hero. And be a renowned command, a legendary commander. And perhaps um, unite all of Prussia, and then we will go further. <laughs> My father's dream was to unite the Prussians, but he couldn't truly, based on the circumstances of the politics and everything. But for me, we shall see what will be for, for what do the Prussian people. With the Slavs now beating each other up, now we can put our focus in uniting the rest of Prussia and all of everything else. But as I said before, we got a lot of work to do. And that starts in the next episode. In the next episode, the reign of Brunken will begin. The son of the diplomat is now going to be the mightiest of the Prussian warriors there is. If he can out... Um, if he can outdo either of those two, because they are formidable in their own right. And also in that next episode, the Axe of Parkunas will be coming to Runkim, one way or another. Another thing that my father failed to accomplish. Tries to do some trickery, but there's another way. And we shall see what that is in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.